Alright guys, this is going to be the start of the third and last video. The next thing I'm going to talk about is your in-game settings. Now I said this I changed to 1920. Um, what you're basically going to want to do here is make this lower if you have a shittier video card, like 4x3, 1280 by 900 and I would suggest trying out stretched. Um, a lot of professional players have been using it lately, they say it's kind of an advantage. So, I mean, that's really up to you, that's preference. But if you have a good video card, sure, go with the 6.9 um, widescreen, 1920, 1080 HD. Um, that's what I use. Um, but do remember that that does, you know, take a toll on your FPS the higher up the res resolution you choose. Um, this is the next one. It's called ingame2.jpg. Um, this I actually have updated. This is what I used on that previous res. Um, for this right here, uh, I have medium here because uh, nothing told me that it's kind of like makes the model detail of the enemies that you're you know trying to see and shoot at a little better. But uh, with 1920, they I mean you could see everything. You could just put this to low, and especially if you have a bad video card, I would make this low. So this should just look like very low, 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 and all that shit the same. Um, this is going to be um, in your video advanced options, by the way, when you go in-game to Counter-Strike Global Offensive, if you're trying to find where this menu actually is located. Okay, now these Windows tweaks here, um, I would definitely say try these all out. Um, they definitely help. Um, I like them. Um, don't really see a difference in my Windows after I do all that stuff as far as when I'm not in game like affecting like programs and stuff it just makes everything for that matter run faster um, a program I would highly suggest is CC Cleaner and just run this thing all the time like every other day definitely helps um, also Game Booster I mean that's uh, optional you don't have to download that but it's a good program uh, Razer supports it and Iobit does is uh, well I believe Iobit is the actual owner of the program though alright so the last thing is actually the BenQ I have the 2420T these are my settings if you would like to use them go for it if not I don't care that's up to you try them out see if you like them and go from there this is the driver by the way for that monitor if you do have it um, it's, I mean, suggested and recommended that you use it. So I threw it in there just to be a nice guy. Uh, the last thing is my resource. This is the updated CSGO competitive HUD with the little guys in the middle bottom of your screen if you've ever seen that in people's videos. You're basically just going to want to open up this folder here and all these files located here, you are going to go to this folder and you're going to look for a resource. I'm double click it. You see Flash, same as this uh, name right here on this folder I included. Double click. You want to highlight all of these, drag and drop them here, and replace. Now, over here, I have a HUD notification, which is customizable uh and is different than the flash one in the competitive hud um, if you would like to use this um, just drag and drop this into the same folder it'll ask you to replace it just say yes um, the one i have here is a smaller one and it's uh actually really cool i like it a lot yeah you can try it out if you don't like it go ahead and go back to this folder navigate and delete this file and it'll use the default one that comes with the game engine all right I'm pretty sure that covers everything. The rest of the stuff in here, this is just my computer. Um, just some miscellaneous crap. Uh, I don't even know. Oh, that's my video card. <laughs> and uh, that's my mouse settings. In case people are curious, like what I'm using. This is actually the 3.5G now. I oh, oh, 2013. Yeah. So I have the 2013 now. So it's uh, same though. Same settings. If you look here, it's just a different mouse. So that's pretty much everything in this uh, video, and I hope this helps you guys out. If you do have any questions, please feel free to hit me up on my ESEA and just message me in my inbox right here, and I will be more than happy to respond to you, give you any feedback. Um, also, uh, if you guys want to give me some plus karma, if any of this helps you out, 
I uh, really appreciate it. It never hurts. Um, if you want to check out some stuff I have for sale, this is one of the threads I'm currently selling things, and there are some videos up here as well of me showing products to show that they are actually factory sealed if you're curious or interested in any new products and want to you know save a chunk of money take a look at this forum here this is the uh, the topic ID number also I made a forum here on uh, cutting for the summer so if you're interested in fitness you know I'm just I'm here to help the community. I'm not one for hoarding information, especially when it comes to tweaks and uh I guess uh FPS stuff, any anything pretty much that helps your gameplay. I don't really believe in that whole like not telling anyone. I mean if I find out something guys, I'm gonna come straight to you and just give it to you because I really don't think it's cool to do what some players do and, you know, not help out the community. I mean I'm all about helping you guys out so whether it's uh workout tips or you know fps or you know selling products for you know cheap price save you guys a chunk of money whatever just here to help so i mean if this helps you guys out i love i love feedback so just you know throw some uh posts up on the forum that i'm going to post these videos on and let me know what you think thanks guys